Right, we're going to do a different video today. I'm going to do a favourite fragrances for soap making of 2020. But some of these are not just 2020. Some of them I have used before, um, going back years on some of them. So I have lists here and a bio so I can tick off when I've done each one so I can like see what I'm doing. I've had like a headache from hell today. I think I had that many dreams last night. I've woken up exhausted. Do you ever have days like that? I woke up and I was like immediately thinking, oh, I've got a headache. I've got a headache. So I lay back in the bed for a second. Then I had to pop two pills because I just couldn't take the banging. And then all behind my eyes, I've had this like, you know, one of those headaches. It's probably hormonal to do with my age. But anyway, he's going away and I've got a nice, I uh, didn't get a coffee today, I thought that might be a bad idea, so I've made myself a nice turmeric tea. So it's anti-inflammatory. Anyway, starting off with, I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five different suppliers. Hold on. Okay, five different suppliers. Sorry, this is just printed off in a really strange way and it had missed off a load of them that I've got in there for scent perfique. So five suppliers I'm gonna be talking about. Candle Shack, obviously. Nature's Garden, Grey Sprout, Scent Perfique, and Sensory Perfection. Those are my favorite fragrance oil suppliers. Um, I don't mention Brambleberry, even though I do like a lot of those, but I don't buy from Brambleberry because it costs too much money to get it shipped over. Sometimes I buy Nature's Garden, not very often anymore. So I'm just including some Nature's Garden because there's a lot of you Americans out there that might be interested in my favorites from Nature's Garden, but I don't buy from them too often. Because again, postage, I'd like to buy um, my fragrances all from the UK, which the majority do come from, but there's the odd Nature's Garden that I'll um, order in. And the way that I do it, and I've been asked several times, how do I get stuff over from a nature's garden now they advise you to use a freight forwarder so i got myself a freight forwarder and they're called my us so if you sign up and you're in the uk or the eu sign up for my us and you can create a little account there and they'll give you like your own sort of kind of po box i guess so whatever you want in america that you want shipped over you can sort of ship it to them first which is a us address and then they'll ship it out to you for a fee and they'll put it all together in a box. So, you know, I've ordered from, say, Colourpop. If I want makeup and things like that that we can't get here, I'll order from Colourpop and I'll shovel that to this uh, address that I've got. So my US is a really, really good, um, yeah, they're a really good supplier and they do like a thing where you're shopping through Google. I think it's not an extension, but it comes up like you can sort of um, have them monitor any shopping cart that you, you've got going on in the US and they'll sort of add it to your, um, orders or your PO box. Sorry, um, it's the headache. Right, I'm going to start. So, Candle Shack, I'm going to start with that. So, my favorite, this I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, just nine of my very favorites. There are some others, but I'm going to include most of these that are the ones I've used recently that I just love. So, first off is Lime Cooler. Now, you see me made this, make this soap, I've ke I keep the name the same because I like the name. Lime Cooler is it's such a lovely lime scent. You get like that nice crispy lime, but there's a real sweetness, like a sugary note in there. So it's it's sort of like, um, almost like a lush type of a scent, but no discoloration, no acceleration, and the scent is really strong. It stays true in the soap, and I only ever use 1.9% in all of my soaps because that's what I'm allowed to use on my assessments unless something is even lower than that, like in the IFRA report. Um, yeah, Lime Cooler. It's a customer favourite. People come, when they do visit the shop, it's one of the ones that just flies off the shelf at first sniff. So it does sell well online, but yeah, it's a real good shop seller. So when I'm back open, I just have to make sure I've got plenty of that in stock. In fact, I need to make some this week because I have none left. So that's Lime Cooler. Then moving on to Christmas tree. Now Christmas tree, I used this one last year and then I bought it again for this year to make my Christmas tree farm soap. Christmas tree smells just like a Christmas tree without the toilet cleaner notes. It's got like that real earthy, like um, pine tree bark scent as well as the pine needle. It's just, 
it's amazing i love it no discoloration no acceleration and the scent again stays really true so i like it in lots of different products but cold process soap christmas tree is great so for your christmas range for next year or actually this year 2021 um yeah that would be a really good one to jot down so you might want to get a pen and paper for these recommendations next one is rhubarb and strawberry this one does discolor slightly but i will i use my like td as my base like my white base um ever ever so slight acceleration but if you keep your temperatures really low then it's workable and i've never had any issues sorry need a sip okay so rhubarb strawberry it's a really nice scent in my whipped soap that i make in scrubs in body cream the scent stays true it smells definitely like rhubarb and definitely like strawberry sometimes one will take over the other but with this one you can definitely smell both and i love it so i i call mine something else but i'm not gonna tell you what it is but yeah rhubarb strawberry is great next one is smoke and mirrors i've made this soap on video so if you want to scroll back through all my videos you'll see me make it um this is like a nice rich masculine cologne type scent so it has got smoky notes but it's also got like a rich, you know, like a cologne sort of, not cologne, because cologne is more sort of citrus bergamot kind of smell. It's more like a, um, you know, like a, a sort of rich aftershave type of a scent mixed with a warm smoky undertone. Very, very, very good. And this one, I think it goes slightly tan, ever, ever so slightly. But overall, no discoloration. I think I use like a gold and a bronze swirl in that one with the white base. And it's sort of kind of went like an off-white then not but not tan but smoke and mirrors that one's really good wild mint wild mint smells like mint but it's not my um not my it's not peppermint and it's not spearmint it's like a cross between the two mixed with water if that makes sense like a watery note so so like an oceanic kind of a scent but very watery and very minty but in a subtle way it's not like bang in your face peppermint i can't use peppermint oil to save my i just can't use it It gives me really bad headaches it makes me feel really really sick but i do like the scent of peppermint but yeah it just it doesn't agree with me and my makeup so i can't really use it so wild mint fragrance oil is a really really good one for me to use because it doesn't make me feel ill doesn't discolor and it doesn't accelerate so i would try that one i usually put in a little bit of mint inside this i do like a mint green and or like a dark green and then some mint inside that green so you don't get horrible brown in like when you put botanicals in you they sometimes go brown but if you use the color that the herb is you generally don't see it turn to brown so i make green <laughs> a green base with a line like a cocoa line and then a white top no discoloration <sighs> guys i like graveyard girl Okay, next, Candle Shack's Pomegranate Noir. Now, everybody in the world makes the Pomegranate Noir, the Joe Malone dupe, but I found that theirs, theirs is pretty much the best. I've tried, I think Grace Fruit do one. Theirs is all right. Um, maybe, I think a lot, of, a lot of suppliers do a Pomegranate Noir, but I really like Candle Shack's. It seems to smell more true to type than any of the others that I've smelled. So if you know Jo Malone's Pomegranate Noir, this is the best dupe that I found. Now I don't know if it discolours because I used to be my sister Trace's favourite scent. So I made her a soap last year, which I then donated all of the profits to a sea life place in Cornwall because my sister loved the sea. So I made it for her, but I made it in her favourite colours, which would like have been like her purples, and forest greens and golds and that kind of like very hippie sort of girl she was so um yeah i made it like that so i didn't use any um white so i couldn't see if it discolored i don't think it does i don't think it does but it soaked amazing no acceleration whatsoever and the scent really stayed true in that one i look i love that so i'm going to make that again sometime uh the next one is one of my customers absolute favorite scents across the year it's like it's an autumn scent that i use but i think i could probably get away with it for most of the year and it's strudel and spice 
and this one is like your typical apple strudel but with really sweet cinnamon almost like a cinnabon but with that apple note as well it's just a really really good sweet spicy warm scent and it does discolor to tan so i mean most autumnal scents that you get in fragrance oils generally do discolor because there's always a lot of vanilla in there but um you can work with it it goes to a light tan so it's not like um it goes really really dark brown so you can still add color um but i usually leave the base neutral and then just add the swirl colors inside and it always turns out just fine so strudel and spice is really really good and then finally for candle shack there are way more and you'll find if you look at candle shack and you want to buy from them that's if you're in the uk i'm not sure if they ship worldwide they might not um white christmas is my final one and this one if you're in the us this smells very 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 similar to snow mammals which i think we're all kind of aware of that scent it's a very um spicy peppercorn mixed with oh, christmas trees um what else have i put strong icy notes tingles in the nose yeah it does it's got like um like snow mammals got like a champagne note so that's where that comes from um I did find with snowman balls that sometimes it accelerated on me, but I can tend to go a bit hot with my oil sometimes. I've learned over the last couple of years to keep my set my temperatures as low as I can, but even so, I've had issues with snowman balls. White Christmas, no issues at all. So I use that one instead. And now I have no discoloration and no acceleration with that one. So that's that and that's candle shack so i'm going to stop this video and come back and do the next one just so we don't sort of um i think this allows me like 20 minutes i know i'm going to ramble this might be a long video but if you want to know my favorites stay tuned okay moving on nature's garden is next now i haven't got many for nature's garden i've got one two three four five six seven some of them might be your obvious ones but some of them might not be. There's, they do so many. When I look on their website, they do so many. And I never know which to pick because, because they do so many. They've always got masses and masses and masses of customers who leave masses and masses and masses of reviews. So it's really, really hard to know what you might like personally because there are that many people that like all different scents and they all leave reviews on Nature's Garden. But I've, I'm going to tell you my favourites. There's not that many, but again, we'll start from the top. So Amish Friendship Bread. This one always intrigued me. From the time I found Nature's Garden, they've been doing this scent for years. I mean, I started back in 2005 was when I started soap making and then 2006 was when I got serious. So it's that's a long time ago. Um, so Amish Friendship Bread... I bought on a whim after just thinking, I want to try this. They do another Amish quilt as well. I did never try that one, but Amish friendship bread smells like a, um, like a sultana bread. It's like that with a marzipan note. This one turns tan and no acceleration, but it's a really strong, homely, bready, cakey, lovely scent and i really really like it and i think i might have to buy myself some more it was like um it's not necessarily like a customer favorite but it's a me favorite it's one of those scents that i just um it's like a typical scent you know it's like one of those that sort of um lurks in the background and people maybe don't buy it that much on nature's garden i don't know correct me if i'm wrong but it's a really good one i really really like that so that's amish friendship bread I'm going to try and leave pictures of them from the supplier's website, so I'll have to contact them just to ask if that's okay, um, just so I can leave a picture, because a lot of them I haven't got in my stock room anymore, so I can't show you the bottle. So I'll just try and put the picture somewhere of the actual product off each person's website. Next is Pink Sugar. Now, a lot of you are going to know Pink Sugar, because this one, along with Blue Sugar, has been going around for a long time. I like both a lot. Pink Sugar, though turns really dark brown and i think blue sugar probably does as well so the best soaps i've ever seen made were by kia from petals bath boutique she used to make these two on video and they were the best soaps i'd seen anyone make with these two fragrances she used to like let the base go dark obviously and then she used to do the most beautiful swirl so a pink and white in the pink sugar and a blue and white in the blue sugar and just 
amazing, amazing work. So these two scents, they are, they have like a sweet patchouli, um, almost animalic kind of a scent. I just really, really, really like these two. But the only one I've ever soaked is pink sugar. I reckon I might have to get these again, you know. So I've put Discolor's Dark Brown, No Acceleration, Lovely, Deep, Strong, Manly Scent and Cozy, which, yeah, I'd go along with that. I think I'd agree with myself there. So pink sugar, really, really nice. It's a typical scent, but really good. Okay, now I get asked all the time. So the next one is the one you need to buy all the time for a non-discolouring coconut scent that smells just like coconut, doesn't smell like coconut ice, doesn't smell like too sweet, just smells like coconut and tropical, but not like, a, what's that thing, blue raspberry, not like that. It smells like proper, proper coconut with a slight sort of kind of fruity edge. The one you need that doesn't, it doesn't discolour is coconut cabana. This is nature's garden. Coconut Cabana I use for my cracked coconut soap, which I make every now and again. It's got like, um, so yeah, typical coconut, and then there's like, I think, dragon fruit in there, papaya in there, but it's more coconut than anything. It's just got these little things lurking in the background, but it doesn't discolour, it doesn't accelerate, and it's a perfect, perfect coconut. So there you go. For those of you that needed a perfect coconut, Coconut Cabana is the one to buy. I've tried... Grace Root do a really good coconut, but it's a little on the sweet side for me. It's not, it does smell like coconut, but it's too sugary sweet. This one is just, honest, it's so good. So good. Next one that I love is Black Raspberry Vanilla. <laughs> do I need to say anything about this one? Everybody does a Black Raspberry Vanilla. No discoloration, no acceleration. Scent is retained throughout the whole time that you've got this in stock. And... You can use whatever colours you like, but obviously most of us go for like whites, black currants, plummy pinks, and you know, obviously black, black raspberry vanilla. So you'd think it would discolour, but it doesn't. So black raspberry vanilla. I'm not going to say much more about that because everybody knows that scent. So I'm aiming this video at soap makers, really. Okay, next one, which probably does get overlooked a lot because it just sounds herbal, is or herbal if you're in the States, bergamot and tarragon. This is one of my all time favorite nature's garden scents. This is a, reminds me of tomatoes growing in greenhouses, but with herbs and rain and it's, it's so beautiful. This is just one of the best scents I've ever smelled. And this I smelled first when I used to buy soaps from Valhalla Soap Company. They made bergamot tarragon soap and I smelled it, I was like, what what is that and it, they actually called it the same name as nature's garden so that one maybe accelerates a little tiny bit if you have your temps too high so keep temperatures low um no discoloration um the only thing with that is i never really know what color to make it but it's just it's got one of it's just the most beautiful beautiful scent if you like fresh sort of spa scents then bergamot tarragon is really good then moving on one of the best scents for uh, making a soap inspired by a florist, which I have done, I've called my soap florist, is Deb's Flower Shop. This is your typical, it smells just like when you walk into a florist. So you get the cut flowers, you get the green stem, you get the water, you get everything. It's like, what did I put? Proper, proper scent of fresh cut flowers, green stems, water. Move slightly, but no discoloration. So yeah, that is true. But then I always do a water discount. So sometimes things can move a bit fast, but I have great success with Deb's Flower Shop. It's one of the best. Deb is the owner of Nature's Garden, which is why it's called Deb's Flower Shop. It's just the most beautiful, beautiful scent. So if you're looking for a really nice, fresh spring scent, where are we at? Yeah, I need to shut up in a minute. <laughs> then this is the one to go for, Deb's Flower Shop. It's really good. Okay, next is pumpkin apple butter. So for the autumn folk who love Halloween, this is the one. So a typical pumpkin with a sweetness and a slight apple note. It's not, 
It's not really, 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 really pumpkin-y and it's not really, really, really apple-y. It's just something in between with a really earthy note as well. So it's just my favourite pumpkin, like, well, one of my favourite pumpkins. There's another one coming up from another supplier. But pumpkin apple butter, lovely. Okay, I'm back. I have to take a layer off. So it's getting a little hot. And I've got some water. Water. What's that thing? He's in water. He's in water. Montel Williams. Sylvia Brown, the medium. You remember that? <laughs> Poor lady's husband died in 9-11 and she says he's in water. He's in water. <laughs> anyway, we're going to move on to Grace Fruit here in the UK. Now, Grace Fruit, they do some of the nicest fragrances, but unfortunately, a lot of them do tend to accelerate. So I've chosen just four of my absolute favourite Grace Fruit fragrances. The thing with Grace Fruit's fragrances is that the majority of them are really, really strong. So in other products, they are fantastic. Just with cold process soap, I've had a lot of them that actually do work really, really well, but I've also had a lot of them that don't work well at all. And uh, yeah, that seems to be um, general knowledge. <laughs> but Grace Fruit as a supplier, they're one of my favourites in the UK. They, uh, yeah, they're one of the best. They have really, really good ingredients and all the information that you could possibly require for your assessments and things like that. They're just really good company. But uh, yeah, there are some iffy fragrances. But starting off, I'm going to talk about Scottish Blossom Honey. This is probably the one fragrance that smells exactly like honey without those pissy notes. Sorry, but there's a lot of them that just smell like urine or like public toilets. This one smells like sweet blossom honey. It's just, it's so good. It does, I think, slightly discolours to a tan. Um... Yeah, it does, because I always do it with no colour. But it doesn't accelerate, but it's a very, 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 very strong scent. So this one, you can get away with using a bit less. You could, you could probably get away with even 1% in the soap. It's that strong. It's so good, but it will overtake anything else. So it's not really good as a blender. It is just like straight use this on its own. It's so good. If you want a honey soap, it's got kind of milky edge to it as well. Um, very sweet, sugary, but oh, it's so good. It just smells like just the most beautiful, beautiful blossom honey. So that is one of the, the best. The other one I really like is Bay Rum. I did this not too long ago. I made a video. Um, the only thing with Bay Rum is it, it soaps really, really nicely. It smells really, really good, but it does kind of fade a bit in the finished soap. So I would probably suggest using this as a cream soap. So if you make like a whipped soap or scrubs or something like that, um, it would also work well as a bath salt scent, I think, for men. It's just um, very masculine and very barbershop. That's what it reminds me of, like walking into an old fashioned barbershop with that nice sort of manly smell, you know, that it just got a really, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's got that old time, classic men scent. <laughs> so Bay Rum by Grace Fruit, yeah, that's really good. It doesn't discolour, um, it doesn't accelerate, it just soaks really, really nicely. But I would say use it in other products if you don't use it in soap. It's I just love it. I love Bay Rum. Okay, the next one is Chocolate Truffle. This is a customer favourite. This one is like... Oh, it's chocolate orange. It's not quite Terry's chocolate orange, but it's very similar. But it's got more of a musty sort of a smell. This, I really, really like it. It's got chocolate, it's got orange, but it's got like, there's something else. It's like, it's almost earthy mixed with musty. <laughs> it just, that's not selling it to you, I know. But it's a really, 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 really good chocolate scent because it's got that orange it's also they also say it's got like a tahitian vanilla and fig i think um but i don't really smell those notes i'm smelling the chocolate i'm smelling the orange and then this musty note at the same time it's kind of weird but it's a really really good one but it does discolor but i haven't found that it accelerates and i really really like it and i've been using it for a long time and finally i've just got four for grocery at the moment i, I probably will add to this and start using some more. There's another one. 
I'll try and remember, after I've done this next one, oatmeal, milk and honey, I found that theirs is probably the best that I've smelled. I've smelled the two that Brambleberry do, but I wasn't too impressed with those. Um, I've tried some from Grace Fruit, but uh, not Grace Fruit, <laughs> Nature's Garden, but they were too subtle and in soap, the scent kind of dissipated and just didn't last. But this one smells like oatmeal, smells like milk, smells like honey, and smells like marzipan. So this is, it doesn't discolour, it doesn't accelerate, and it just soaps so beautifully and the scent stays true. This is one of my all time favorite grapefruit scents and it is the best oatmeal milk and honey that I found. So yeah, that one. Another one that I really like is slow gin and blackberry. Slow gin and blackberry, that one doesn't discolor and it doesn't accelerate. It's really fruity and it doesn't really smell like gin, but there's something going on that makes you think in your head, gin. It's kind of strange. It's maybe got like that juniper-y edge, you know? Like when you smell gin, you know the scent of gin. And it's kind of in there, but it's kind of not. But the fruit note kind of takes over and gives this real autumnal vibe. So yeah, slow gin and blackberry. That's one of the other ones I really, really like from Grace Fruit. But have a look at their website. They do a baby butter bee, which is really nice, which is the lush dupe. And they also do kismet, which is the karma dupe. That's another really good one, which I think doesn't accelerate. Um, dark chocolate, that's another good one. There's quite a few actually, but there's uh, green tea. That one's really, really nice. Um, yeah, there's quite a few, but um, I'll try and list these below. I, I, I probably won't. <laughs> I don't even know why I said that, because I probably won't. It's going to be like typing for days. I, no, I'm not going to list anything down below. I'll just list the suppliers down below and you can peruse their websites at your leisure. I'm not going to do all that for you. You can forget it. Okay, moving on to another favourite supplier in the UK, which is Scent Perfique. And I have quite a few from them because they are one of the suppliers that I use a lot. So I'll give you my favourites. Wild Fig is number one. Now I've made this soap on video. This is one of my most popular videos, actually. I don't know why, probably the picture. I put up as the uh, thumbnail but wild fig it doesn't discolor it doesn't accelerate and it smells like diptyque's figure candle if you know one it's very earthy and very fresh fig like it's not fruity it's figgy do you know what i mean it's like figs smell like earth to me they taste like earth they smell like earth this is classic earthy fig but it's um it's fresh it's clean and it's lovely and it smells just like the diptyque candle so wild fig. The other one that I love is black currant jam. Now a lot of people try and do a black currant. If you've ever tried Nature's Garden's black currant, you'll know it smells absolutely nothing like black currant whatsoever. I really, really like Nature's Garden black currant, but it doesn't smell like black currant. This smells like black currant jam. It's sweet, it's black currant-y, and it works well in soap. I always, always use it as a mixer. So, I'm not sure if it discolours on its own, I'm not sure if it accelerates on its own, but I managed to make the soap that I make um, as part, I use it as part of my blackcurrant damson frangipan scent. It's that one. So, <laughs> that soap does discolour, but there's other, other notes in there that could be the culprit. So I might have to make blackcurrant jam, maybe just do one. I think, actually, I reckon I have done. I reckon I might have made a blackcurrant jam one years ago. And if I remember correctly, I've still got a bar in my stash at home and it didn't discolour and it didn't accelerate. And I used a white base with purple. So yeah, black and jam, go for that. <laughs> Next one is Baltic Amber. This is one of the absolute best. I mentioned this in my video where I got all those fragrances from Harney, if you remember. That was called um, I Got Someone's Fragrance or Stash or something like that. Um, and I mentioned Baltic Amber in there. It's the nicest amber I've smelled. It's very true to type and it soaps really, really nicely and just colours to a light tan. Baltic Amber. If you're looking for an amber note, it's also good as a mixer. Next is Black Dragon Tea. This one is a little bit like your Jo Malone, is it Rich Leather and Tobacco or something like that? It smells similar to that. Um, it's more, more like a fresh, clean incense. You know some of those incense sticks you get, they just have more of like a, a almost fizzy 
I can't, I find it really, really hard to explain, but there's, yeah, they have like a smoky, but more frankincense type of a note. So it's like a clean burn, you know? Kind of weird, but yeah, black dragon tea, that's one of my favorites. The only thing in soap is it kind of turns soapy. It turns into like a scent that just smells really soapy, but it's really, really nice. And in other products, it smells like incense. And I, I just love that one. And now another one that is uh, incense based is incense and ember. So if you're looking for that fireplace aroma scent, then this is the one you need to buy. This one, Smells like an open fire. It's very smoky, very incensey, and the, it doesn't discolor, it doesn't accelerate, and the scent retention is really, really good. So, incense and embers. I know that's a really popular one here with uh, UK soap makers. It's lovely. So, yeah, incense and embers. Um, now, the next one is one of my strange ones, library book. I'm one of those people that, you know, obviously I'm got my head stuck in the dark ages as we know with uh, regards to scent and inspiration <laughs> i'm very modern and up-to-date and futuristic don't you know but my head for scent is stuck right back in the victorian era so we're th thinking libraries schools old grocers shops you know you know what i mean spit and sawdust pubs that's the sort of thing i write on my website but yeah, library book smells like the old town library that we used to have here in town, which is now a hairdresser's, but it's got like old wooden panelling in it. And you could smell, like in this scent, you can smell the books, you can smell the paper, you can smell the book covers, you can smell the wood, you can smell the parquet floor, you can smell the pens, you can smell like, it's just, it smells like library. Library book is really, really good. Now I've always coloured mine a dark brown, so I don't know if it does discolour. I would not, I would think not, but it might maybe go tan, I don't know. But I would think that it doesn't. It hasn't got really any notes in there that I would think would make a soap go brown. But library book, if you're one of those that likes weird and wonderful scents, then that one's really good. Another one, which you either love it or you hate it, is Parma Violet. Parma Violet soaps really well, doesn't discolour and retains its scent for a long time this is one of my customers favorites they they seem to love palmer violet some people are just like Ugh, you know they can't stand the scent and the smell of those little tiny sweets i'm one of those people that actually likes those little tiny sweets and i like the smell of palmer violet but there's another side of me my other person that does not like it work it out I don't know some days I guess you love it some days I guess you hate it and I'm one of those people it's like when I make it I'm all in the mood for it and then sometimes I smell it and I'm like this just smells like old ladies handkerchiefs it's just not not the best scent but overall I like it <laughs> do with that whatever you will but it's a really good scent if you like Palmer Violet and finally from Scent Perfique we have Quince Jam this one it's not finally I think there might be another one there is another one but I've not written it down but I'll tell you what the other one is so anyway quince jam this is very very rich very very fruity very autumnal it soaps well but you need to keep temperatures low and you need to move fast so I guess it doesn't soak well at all it soaps and it accelerates but not at a really really rapid rate it's one of those scents that sometimes weeps <laughs> we don't like them you know you get you sometimes like if you soak too hot you are definitely going to get a weeper it's sometimes you get like cracks in the soap and then the scent will ooze out it's the most awful thing and i've had that happen with quince jam but my temperatures were probably skyrocketing and they shouldn't have been but i have been able to make that soap without that happening when i've kept temperatures low and maybe upped the water ever so slightly but scent wise it's really really good so quince jam is one of my favorites and then finally oh i have written it down but i just haven't highlighted it okay it's wild vetiver now if you like thinking about the plains you know um, look where my head's going out in the countryside i'm thinking tumbleweed territory um you know quiet bird song not a lot else going on. Wild vetiver is your scent. This one is like rich grass. This is the best grass scent I've ever smelled. It doesn't smell like grass, but it does smell like grass. It's not like your fresh cut grass scent. It smells like wild grass, wild prairie. There's just something about it. It says vetiver, but mm, 
it doesn't really really smell like better for essential oil that's like a scent all on its own but it's kind of got that kind of vibe and feel which is obviously why they've called it that but it's really really earthy it's really rich and alluring it's just beautiful so wild vetiver by scent perfect is my last favorite and definitely check that out it's it's so good it's like a, one of those herbal notes again i'm one of those people that really likes rich herbal notes and yeah it'd be really really good as a candle so yeah try that one the other one that's sort of similar that i didn't mention to start with was because it accelerates like, like a bitch is um candle shacks tuscan herb oh man it smells i had a guy come in the shop once and he smelled that on the on the soap shelf and he was just like he turned to me like i went i know i know it's so good but it's a pain in the ass to make in soap so you have to either stick to one color or do you can do two layers but you need to do the one layer pour it mix up the next one pour it forget about it because that's how quick it moves but it's just so good so that's tuscan herb by candle shack if you like making candles or wax melts go for that okay hold on right finally i'm moving on to one of my all-time favorite supplies because i've been using her company since i started so i'm just going to give you two three four five of my my very favorite fragrances there's also two more let me write them down and i'll just give them a quick mention at the end okay so sensory perfection her name is Jo, and she's a lovely lady and really good website again she used to list all the u.s fragrances from a lot of nature's garden ones she still does still sells them and then there's a whole range of the uk fragrances as well so starting from cranberry wreath this one it smells more like orange to me it's got like um yeah like a very fresh orange like sweet orange it's just lovely this one doesn't accelerate it doesn't discolor and it soaps really well and it keeps its scent and it's a customer favorite so cranberry wreath you would think smells like cranberry but it to me it smells more like orange which is why i think you could use it all year round hold on okay sorry i had a delivery okay moving on after cranberry wreath vanilla patchouli this one I think must contain rather a lot of patchouli oil because it is really patchouli but with the most beautiful vanilla so which I think may be a blend it might be I don't know if she does a straight patchouli I don't know but anyway she does a which is one of the ones I wrote down at the end vanilla non-discoloring it doesn't really smell too much like vanilla but it's a really, really good mixer scent. It doesn't discolor, but it's, it's, when I first smelled this, immediately I thought of Lush. And it's one of those scents where you're like, this smells like Lush, but it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't smell like Lush. We all know what Lush smells like overall. They've got that overall scent. And it sort of gives me the same type of vibe, probably because it's a, it's a strong, yeah, it's a strong scent, but with more going on than just vanilla, like a lot more going on than just vanilla, but I can't explain what it is. I don't know what it is, but there's something in there. So, it, and this vanilla, I think, is the one used in vanilla patchouli. So vanilla patchouli is just, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's almost got almost like leathery notes as well. Um, it's sweet, it's earthy, it's patchouli, it's vanilla, and it's lovely. And it does discolour, but it doesn't accelerate. So vanilla patchouli if you want to just make like a dark soap with it and do that it's really really good the next one is the other pumpkin i mentioned earlier frosted pumpkin which i think you can get from nature's garden as well and this is an old us scent so this one is a really really strong pumpkin with very very strong maple syrup notes to my nose it's like um like a sweetened pumpkin with sugar and maple syrup but with something else i don't know it's like a, a top note of some strange spice combination of sorts i don't know but it's it's so good but i don't think i've made soap i think i've only made like scrubs and things like that but frosted pumpkin if you're looking for your good autumn and halloween scent it's really really good but yeah i'm, I'm probably gonna have to i don't know if i ever have soaped it you know i can't remember i really can't remember but 
It'll be one that I, I should soap and would maybe make a pumpkin soap in the summer. <laughs> just for shits and giggles. Who knows? But yeah, Frosted Pumpkin, really, really good. The next one that they've just, I reckon this is a recent scent they bought out. I had this as a sample and it blew my mind. This is Palo Santo, which is the, obviously like the wood, the incense. But this one, it does smell like that. I've written, it smells amazing. Gonna get me a big bottle is what I've written. <laughs> this smells like a warm, loving home. It does. Pine notes, but not loo cleaner. It's got myrrh, sticky resin, and blonde woods. So blonde woods, I always think like, like a light pine and sandalwood type of a scent. So it's like subtle, musky, but not really musky because I ain't a musk lover. But you know, that if I say blonde woods, your brain should take you somewhere. And wherever it takes you, it takes you. But it takes me to a place of smooth sandalwood mixed with the pine, maybe. With that white pine. But it's like a cashmere sweater. It's got the most lovely, enveloping, beautiful, warm scent. And it's one of the best I've ever smelled. They, <clears throat> when they get it right at Sensory Perfection, they get it absolutely bang on. And that's why I always keep going back to them because some of them are just stand out amazing. Like, honestly, some of them, you smell them and you're like, my God, this is like gonna be a bestseller. And it always, always is. I used this one in a whip soap at Christmas and it just flew off and then I made another batch and it flew off the shelves again. It's just absolutely amazing. And then finally, yeah, that's Palo Santo. Finally, Vanilla Sandalwood is a, you get, I get a lot of customers in this shop when they're allowed to come in, when COVID isn't a thing. They come in the shop and they always say, do you do a sandalwood? And I'm always like, mm. So I started to stock a sandalwood because most women want to come in and buy something for their gentlemen. You know, I get sort of uh, middle-aged ladies coming in the shop quite often who want a lovely sandalwood soap for their husbands. So they're the type of women that normally would buy florists, you know, florist sandalwood or Miller Harris or something like that, like a real classic men's cologne sandalwood, whatever. So vanilla sandalwood is the one to make for those ladies that like those type, type of scents for their husbands or husbands that come in and think I'd like a nice soap for myself vanilla sandalwood is the one and it was one I always took off the shelf I was like this is the one you need this is the one you need so I always make that I've made this on video and I've used the expression mat and I think my video is called making soap with an expression mat I think that's what it is um where I peel it off and I've got like two layers and I make like the chunk soap. So vanilla sandalwood, that's that video. It's somewhere, it's somewhere if you look through, you'll find it. Scent retention is amazing. Um, it discolors to tan. So what I think I did, I reckon I used Russell clay in the base with a cocoa line and then a natural top to do the um, impression mat on the top. And it's just, it's just lovely. So yeah, Vanilla Sandalwood is my other favourite from Sensory Perfection. And that, my dear friends, is the end of my favourite fragrances of 2020. And not beyond, because we're going backwards. These are my favourite fragrances for 2020 and before. <laughs> not beyond. Okay, I will be back soon. Leave me your comments below. I'd like to know your favourite nature's garden scents because like I said, that website is so huge and so daunting when I go on. It's not daunting. I love to look through it, but it's like, you know, I'll get to see, A, B, C. I'll get to see and be like, how many more can I read through? You know, that because there are just so, so many and I never know which one to go for because a lot of them seem like they might be very similar. So leave me your favorite nature's garden scents below in the comments if you would. And then when I do my next order, I've got something to reference. That would be really, really handy. And I know a lot of you use them a lot. So please do that. And um, I will see you for the next one. Uh, I'll be making soap, but I don't know which one, you know. I might choose one of these. I'll go through the list and see which one might be a good one to just show you how it soaps. So, I will see you later. Ta-ta.